got that speech I prepared for you, your majesty. Yes, I got it right here. Eh? Hang on. Hang on. If the bog roll is here, where's the spe- You look a little uh, red in the face, your highness. Hmm. Little flushed. What will you do? Oh, don't worry, Leo. I can wing it. I'll just say what comes naturally. What other great world leaders have said. <laughs> it won't be a problem. Oh, sweet iron brew. Ah, maybe slow down on the wee mackerel massacre there, Ten Tires. You'll probably be getting used to dieting pretty soon. What she want to bet? Ah, careless talk, cuss lives, I suppose you could call it. If I were to be cryptic. And the early bird catches the world's supply of fish if I were to be sceptic. She, choke and play that game, innit? Eating literally insulates against threat to life, innit? Like a bulldog proof vest in it. Didn't say I didn't want ya? You daft wee sussamark. To those who claim there's a cover up and I am not giving you the full story, I ask you this. Would I lie to you? Yes! Yes! I ask you this! When has your leader, or indeed any world leader, ever lied to their people? Operation 9-11! Oh, weapons of mass destruction! Okay then, I ask you this! What are the chances of me lying again if I was lucky to get away with it the other time? Do it. Very happy indeed! Look, vaccines are really good. They should not be misunderstood. There are lots of good ingredients in them which your children will love, like uh, sugar, uh, confetti, Peppa Pig. There's only one swine round here. Yeah, you butcher. Hang on, he can't be both the swine and the butcher. Can we stick to slogans and insults that are congruent, please? Ah, oh, suck it to the man, man. Nah, quiet. He's about to confess. Crazy's distance learning course. Remember, Your Majesty, if you find yourself facing a personal and political crisis, such as, ho, oh, what have you got? Compelling evidence of murder, intrigue, the planned enslavement of your citizens. What about racism? Not a problem. What about lying every time you open your mouth? Oh, please. Maybe in the 19th century. Anyway, get some paper and a pen and write these down. One day you might need them. Number one. Deny any charges. I'd like to assure you all that I did not charge a fee for assassinating my rival politicians. It was purely for political gain and power. And, well, pleasure to a certain extent. Number two. Remind the people of good times and promise more of them. When I was young, I once ran through a farmer's meadow of Antarctic hairgrass. It was possibly the naughtiest, but also most exhilarating thing I ever did. Even more than these murders, actually. And the best thing was, I didn't get caught. I would definitely like to do that again. And therefore, I promise to do so many, many more times from this day forth. Number three. State your intention to clear your name with the help of your legal team. I have seen the despicable graffiti around Antarctica, most of it insulting me and or my family. Obviously, I was responsible for the ones about Sharon. But as for the ones abusing me, I will have my legal team scrub away at those, leaving my dignified name gleaming and intact throughout the continent. Number four. 
caught their sympathy. I'm confident I can win the sympathy of the judge and jury, and I have 13 well-stocked briefcases ready to go in case of an emergency such as this. For five, if none of the above is working, go for the ad hominem approach, questioning the character of your accuser. I have been adding homonyms since I started speaking, and so far I have used charge and court to make effective puns. A grand total of... Um, uh, two! Number six. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, express regret, not wrongdoing. Finally, I regret not wrongdoing. It would have been much better if I had assassinated important and worthwhile people, but I only assassinated scum politicians who would have denied you the opportunity and privilege of being ruled by me. For that, I should be excused, thanked, rewarded, inde indemnified against all past and future actions, and adored. I rest my face. Case. Uh, accusative, I believe. Thank you for clarifying that, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Your Majesty? Yes? Uh, the Bang mob is still here, sir. Uh, I feel I would not be doing my duty if I did not suggest, though it may appear dishonourable in the eyes of everyone alive, that you make haste and uh, do it honour. The king has been dethroned! Long live Antarctica! Yay! Now we demand fair elections with no interference from outside parties. Yay! Candidates to make themselves known within the next 24 hours with a minimum of 10 nominations from at least three different species. Let democracy reign in our land! Yay! Good work, sport. You've lived up to your name, dethrone, deathrone. Fancy a go at the top job? Oh, goodness me, no. Not my thing at all. Not my name either. But I know someone who should. Who's that? I'm looking at him. Come on. You're principled, you're calm. You've got the people's interests at heart. You're strong like a, like a tree. And you know the system. You get my vote anyway. Well, I don't, I don't know what to say. Say, thanks for the nomination. Now will you help me find another nine? Okay, that. Let's do it. <laughs>